day everyone today we're gonna to do a rain barrel for as cheaply as possible I got this barrel from work for free and then the parts so far I have are bits I have used from the house from other projects or things that were given to me when I did stuff so we just drilled our hole already I'm a couple steps in I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause it's not threaded it's just a regular hole a little Teflon tape to get it to be watertight and the threads actually kind of make their own uh, grooves for it to tighten in and be watertight. Tighten that in. It should snug up pretty nice. Don't overdo it because the threads are plastic on your barrel. Here. Again, these are just bits I had lying around, but you could go to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever and buy the one that suits your purpose. Alright, bud. Cut it off. So here we're just kind of rinsing out the barrel. We went ahead and turned it on. This basically had glorified dish soap in it. So when you turn it off, So we don't have any leaks back here. Like I said, just make sure you don't tighten it too much. This valve actually isn't any good. So let's put a new one in there. Oh, that's okay. All right, let's get you cut up to speed. As you can see, the gutter is on now. Rain barrel has been moved. Gutter cost roughly 50 bucks with parts. Little end caps are on, yay! If you think gutter's hard to run, it's not. Make sure you have a little bit of pitch to it. Put your hangers up. A little caulking. Anyhow, <clears throat> here's our fantastically super stable base to put our rain barrel on. I put it back here because as you can see, here's my garage. It's gonna hide most of it from the neighbors. So this is a three inch to two inch reducer. This is some flexible pipe that I put up. And then, See them in the hole right here. I'm going to do this in a different fashion, I think, because this fits and it kind of slips down like that. But there's a lot of, see it pulling up like that. So for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it. Um, but what I'm going to do is get a peach of two inch PVC, let it run long in there, glue it to that. So that way the force of it being in there kind of keep it from pulling back it'll give it a little bit of weight but I've mounted the barrel it's on the little tripod if you will and as you can see it's behind the house and if you're like me and you're tired of paying for big water to water your plants there you go so I found a better way I found a little piece of two inch conduit that's back behind there I screwed it into this top part first, screwed it to the bottom part there, and that has given me that resistance that I needed. Still got to figure a way out to fix that, but that's just finding the correct pipe to put in there. This was a little bigger than I thought, and I've already stretched it out pretty good. So, but again, the point was to use as many things as I had lying around as possible. This was eight bucks, this was three bucks, screws I had these I had so the big part the most expensive thing was the gutter but again that was about 50 bucks and if I get to water my plants for a couple seasons with it it's gonna pay for itself had our first rain last night after installing the rain barrel and it sprinkled lightly for a few hours and you can see the overflow, it completely filled it with one little rain. Yay, free water!